perfect phone, perfect cell phone, what kind of features would it have? The perfect phone. For two minutes, go ahead. Sure. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. What is your most favorite thing that you ever wanted? Was it all the money in the world? Was it the perfect house? Or was it the perfect cell phone? Today, I will tell you about what I would do if I would make the best, most perfect cell phone that was ever invented. First, I would have spy technology that can do anything. So you can have homing devices, you can create spy weapons, you can do anything you want. You can even creep up on your friends and look one across the entire world and you can find everything you can. The second thing is a future that people would probably think is impossible to make. A future that can treat anything that you wish. From a whoopee cushion to an airplane Everything would be possible with that phone. And also, the phone would have state-of-the-art phoning. So they could, you could even identify how happy they are, or how loud they're speaking, or if they're lying. Now, the interesting part. I would use this phone to do anything. I would make it so that this phone could not be for sale. I would use it myself. And I would become the most powerful man ever to be existed. I will create my own world. A world on a different galaxy. And then I will come and then rule the Milky Way. And then it will become the Milky Way. So, let's see this. My favorite thing is things like mythology and things like that. And with that, I would also create mythology and create everything that I ever desired for. So ladies and gentlemen, what would you do if you made that perfect phone, that perfect thing? Would you create a whoopee cushion phone? Would you create the world's biggest phone? What would you do? But this is what I would do. Thank you. So, Luciana, I thought you had a very interesting opening in terms of how to get our attention. What would you do? To, well, what is your favorite phone or something similar along those lines? And I thought that was an interesting way to open it because it piqued our interest and it made the audience think, well, what, what is my perfect phone? What features do I want my perfect phone? And then you started listing them first, second, third, so immediately you had a very good structure in which you can base your speech around. I thought you had very good hand gestures. They were very and very powerful. But I thought the ending kind of got away from you. It, it, was, it, it sort of get weird and away from your initial point. One of the things I noticed was, and things like that, so I thought that was an extremely statement you really need to have that in there. And you started talking about mythology and the Milky Way. So I thought that a better, a better, a, a, a more organized ending would have been to reiterate your points, make it a bit stronger. And, but overall, I thought, as a speaker, very powerful, but the content will need to be a bit more fleshed out and a bit more organized. So. At the very end, you're not rambling just by speaking random points. But otherwise, very well done. All right. So who 